we'll start playing. Well, they're running uh, like a, a, an east-west style engine in, in the, those cars, the front-wheel drive cars, a la Mini, like the motor going that way. Uh, no, I think they're, they're mounted normally. Um, oh, okay, so it's a uh, yeah, north-south yeah, motor, yep. yep. Well, this will be a good, uh, a good test of driver ability in this particular one, and another good uh, test of who can get off the start. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there'll be there'll be some of these front wheel drives. Uh, uh, Michael Musumici and Bill McGoffin off the third row. Um, so they're both the front two front wheel drive cars. So we'll watch them. Just watching that beautiful Julia GDV of uh, of uh, Golson there. That's uh, looking in the right spot there. If you can. Get a good start, there's uh, five seconds to go. Wipers are working away pretty hard. I've got the Windex on the, the rain shield on the screen. The way they go, anyway. and a good start there by Aaron's and the Soretti, as the Soretti might have it, just as they go up into the corner. No, Aaron's is just there, not much in it. Galson coming up in there for third. He's dropped back behind uh, 34 or 94, is that McGiffin? In, uh, 94 uh, and McGoffin, yes, uh, and the front wheel drive Julieta, yep, so he's, yeah, so uh, he's going to try and back himself in the first corner. And also, uh, Urs Muller, the leader of the Twin Sparks, trying to carve his way through. Um, they'll be fast on the first lap. Well, who's uh, your Nick dad? Aaron's Pretty in front. good, coming up into yep, second Bill place. McGoffin sends it up the inside, nice. licks the stamp and sends it. Beautifully presented car, too. Uh, it is, yeah. and Michael Musumici around the outside as well of uh, Robert Soretti. Uh, and Urs Muller up the, front of, uh, up the inside of Robert Soretti as well, uh, challenging up the faster cars. Um, Michael Musumici trying to make a move on Bill McGoffin into the um, corner, but no, a bit too far away to make anything happen. Um, and Urs Muller and Andrew, Andrew Wilson uh, battling out for the Twin Sparks. Um, it's a point series, so um, they are, Urs is in front. Oh, splashing going through the water, oh. a bit of a touch there. Oh, someone went into the side of someone there, went 280. Urs Muller, Roberto Soretti. Well, they're all going every which way here to get out of each other's it. way. Taking wide, one pretty line. One went off the deck there, I'm pretty sure. He didn't come back on. So uh, they make their way around up the cleavage end, uh, as we say, going through the lake that's uh, just on the apex of the corner there. Yep. And, uh, of course, uh, Golson just taking nice and easy. He's uh, dropped back a few places now after that start. Yeah, for quite a few way, in fact. Dicing with Steve Ahrens. Might be the Discretion's a bit of part of Valor, I think, yep. in this particular occasion. I don't want to get the thing bent up. Here's the uh, next group of cars coming That's through. Yeah, Golson and Aaron still having that battle there. Um, Aaron's in the front wheel drive in the Twin Spark Cup in the 156. Um, putting a bit of a gap on Golson there. Yes, he is. I know it's Golson's only got the one wiper going, but I guess he only needs that. He's got a passenger there, yep. so. Um, They're still putting some across. distance on him. Yep. Yes, uh, Richard McKee. Uh, Richard McKee battling with Golson now. And uh, John Burkhart looking to see if he can capitalise there. Alfio Misumichi, um, Carmelo Mirabella, um, both coming through. Uh, so Rob Roberto Soretti um, trying to hold off um, David McKee, uh, but David McKee gets it done through the chicane there, through, through turn one. Oh, the ability of front wheel drive there, I think, uh, pulled him right through the corner. Very nice. That's it. Indeed. It looks like he's going to get snapped up by Stephen Ahrens as well, who's on the inside for the next corner. Um, so it looks like he's going to make that, yeah, get that done there. A couple of the cars look to me as though they're fogging up a bit too. They get uh, a bit hot inside and you get the humidity inside the car. and it, I guess they're probably still running to vistas and all that sort of stuff in these yeah. cars. I know Roberto's got the, uh, the plexiglass, so he might be struggling with that a little bit. Yes. Is that in car 18? Uh, yes. Yeah, I noticed uh, earlier on today when he's coming down the straight, the back window, you can see it actually flapping a little bit in the uh, being plexiglass. Oh, Mick, Mick Ahrens has been um, has been snaffled up by uh, Stephen Ahrens, actually, and Mick's been racing for the flag, so I don't know if he's got an issue there with his uh, GDV6. Car 51, that is. Oh, he's got oh, very he's sideways, too. Very sideways. He might have an issue with that car, perhaps. You're wondering how many of these guys have actually raced in the wet, you know, the might be guys that... Oh, there's, there's a fair, fair few in the wet, um, but, uh, you know, maybe not here at Winton. You know, most of our field here is from New South Wales, so, you know, we're oh. normally at Eastern Creek or, or Wakefield, so... Got a fair bit of rain up there lately, that's for sure. Yeah, 
a bit of a traffic jam up there while they're trying to navigate. I think, uh, yeah, a couple of the cars have, have probably given up on racing today and just trying to get it home safe. Uh, it's very, very wet out there, but uh, uh, certainly not Richard McKee on screen now. He's, he's certainly sending it. He's charging it down the inside of uh, Roberto Soretti. Interesting, he hasn't got his wipers going. We certainly didn't have then. No, he hasn't got it. He might have the... Uh, good old, good old rain -X. Rain -X. Yeah, yeah. Rain-X, he might have it on there. It does work. I uh, used to use it on, uh, on light, light aircraft too, so it worked pretty well. So Dad's out in front doing doing very nicely, thank you. Car number 94 with a uh, two minute point two. And he's 1.6 in front of uh, Michael Musumici. Yeah, yeah. He, he's in a uh, 3.2 litre GT front wheel drive as well. So battle of the front wheel drives out front. That'll be interesting to watch. But Roberto Soretti. Oh, what a great photo that is. Great really. photo. We'll screen cap that one later, I'm sure. Um, Golson sending it up, up the inside of uh, Roberto Soretti. Looks like he's getting it done with John Burkhart uh, looking to capitalise. He's still on the inside for the next corner. So there we go. On through. John good Burkhart, he's, it's good that he's out here. He had a tangle with an ABBA last time he was out here. So good, good to see him here. Yes, I think you were saying that the yep. car is completely fussed up. He can't see where he's going. Yeah, unfortunate so just, for Mick. Just as well to pull out, I guess. Yeah, unfortunate to Mick. We'll have to see how the point standing uh, checks out. He was in the lead going into the race. Um, the Ors Muller, I think he's uh, no, he's coming uh, in second in the Twin Sparks behind Andrew Wilson, who's a bit further up the trap. Um, Ors Muller and Brad had a bit of a tangle in the last race, but uh, it's a good testament to the series. Straight away afterwards, they're both under replacing the sump and um, getting Brad's car back on the road. So... Um, maybe not mates on track, but certainly mates off track. That's the way to be. Yeah, That's bit, it. Bit of uh, batemanship about it. That's it. And Peter Tillett, uh, yeah, third in the Twin Spark Cup. Normally they're they're quite dicey together, um, but uh, a little bit separated given the conditions, I'm sure. Okay. One off onto the boot docks up here. I haven't quite got the uh, number. Michael uh, Musumici. Michael yes. Musumici. So he was chasing down Bill McGoffin, and um, I don't know what happened there. Might have understeered off the um so he's oh, he's trying to wipe the inside of the windscreen he can't see where he's going yep. i think he's given it away no point in uh yep. bending the machinery for anything unnecessary uh, so david mckee um on screen up in fifth now uh, as a result of that really a battle of the twin sparks and uh stephen aaron's on screen out of Monza Motors, um, doing a doing a great job this weekend, and um, I guess really good for us New South Welshmen to um, to you know have the chance to battle with our Victorian counterparts. Um, so he makes up part of the Victorian contingent. So thank you very much for having us here. Let's see, uh, I don't see Hugh Harrison out there. No, Hugh, Hugh Harrison um, decided to, uh, to give it a miss for today. Um, he was having some gearbox troubles. Uh, so he was very, very competitive in the first race for the Twin Sparks, but he um, was having some gearbox troubles and I think um, decided not to shred it. I had Hugh do some uh, work on my uh, Elfetter uh, in his uh, Monza workshop. Very good workshop. I've just uh, bought a car I'm building for, for this series, which uh, I understand was worked, worked on by them as well. So you're good to get that out there. So, Ors Muller is trying to chase down Andrew Wilson. I think uh, if they keep it as it is, uh, I think Ors will still take out the weekend, regardless. Um, but to be honest, he won't care about that now. He'll be chasing down Andrew for, for the flag for the Twin Sparks. Yep. Oh, we've got Alfio and uh, Roberto Soretti um, back in the, the GDV. Uh, well, Roberto in the GDV6 and uh, Alfio in the GDV Turbo. Uh, two litre, four cylinder. Might have might have stuffed that up on uh, on Saturday. It was very quick to correct me there. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Amazing. If you uh, made a, make a, a comment that's not quite right from the commentary point. I mean, you know, I gave him a two two extra cylinders. So no, you it know, doesn't matter. It could be it two doesn't. weeks later, and I'll I'll pick you up on it. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> yes. uh. But um, no, it's it's a good testament to the regs that we've got that uh, you've got some very different cars that are still battling out and putting some similar times down. So 
uh, Alfio with his turbo being one of them, sticking it to the, the GDV6s. Interesting. The, the circuit, it sort of looks like it's getting aligned, but uh, it is raining, still raining very heavily. Wiper going like mad. In fact, it's going up too far, I think. Number five uh, getting through there. That's uh, Alfio Misumichi. Alfie, yes, he's going very nicely indeed. Actually, to credit, I think we've only had what, one or two very slight offs in, in this event, which is good. Yeah, that's it. I think now, you know, some of the line's developing and they've figured out where they can push it and where they can't. So, yeah, yeah. and Bill McGoffin on screen. Um, I believe still out in front, putting about a 10 second gap on uh, Andrew Wilson. Tell us a bit about that. Has he been a racer for a while? He's He's been a racer for a while. He's been a racer for certainly as long as I've been alive, so at least 30 years. Um, yeah, no, he's he's normally out in the Group N or Group S. Uh, he's got a 105 and a, and a GDV. Um, so, uh, yeah, but he's, he's brought out the Giulietta today. Um, it looks like Mum's shopping car. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, we used to have a Giulietta that was Mum's shopping car. So, right, uh, yeah. not this one. Not this one. This one's uh, a lot faster. Um, it's just recently had a bit of a tune-up from um, ARI Performance as well, um, which has sorted out some of the electrical gremlins because obviously, you know, you turn a, a modern uh, road car into a race car, and uh, some of the computers decide that uh, they don't like what you're doing to them. So it's fully uh, road registered type car. Uh, no, no, no. It's a it's a full full race car. Um, limited engine modification. Well, no engine modification, yeah. but everything else has been yeah. been race modified. You know, suspension and um, and the like, uh, cage inside, obviously. Um, so Urs Muller right up in the mirrors of Andrew Wilson with Peter Tillett behind. Now this is a return to regularly scheduled programming because normally uh, the three of them are are going at it. Um, I'm sure um, I'm sure Brad isn't far behind as well. Just four of them having a good little dice there. Yeah, definitely. Andrew's going to try and hold him off. He was having some brake issues in race one. Uh, though he's, he's feeling a lot more comfortable with the car, but um, didn't get the chance to battle with them too much in race two due to some other incidents. So he's he'll be relishing this, but so will Orse. He's just going to, you know, just intimidate him a little bit. His nickname's the Intimidator in the field, and he's uh, living up to the name by just making, making Andrew's mirrors uh, look uh, awfully filled. He has know, got uh, a good lead. Perhaps he can come up here for a quick interview. <laughs> he's uh, he's 10.7 uh, seconds ahead of everybody else. So, uh, and the high speeds at 139 uh, kilometres an hour. That's, I think, out over the uh, finish line down there. Right, we'll see what he can do this time by. Um, so lap six of six. So this should be him going for the flag. He's already wrapped up the Nouveau class within our, um, within our group. So he is just racing for pride at this point. And... Hey, he's done pretty well. Crosses the line. My word. I think in first. They throw on the flag. They are throwing yep, the flag. Flying. So, Bill McGoffin over the line in first. Well done. Very good uh, drive in any of the conditions uh, that were out there today, or certainly this afternoon, have been pretty uh, atrocious, and really. Andrew Wilson takes. Oh, Peter oh. Tillett gets Or Muller right on the line oh, to take second for the Twin Spark Cup. Just got And uh, third, on, um, third on track. Um, that may actually have some points permutations for, for Ors. We'll have to do the maths later. Um, John Burkhart um, moving up on um, David McKee. Didn't get there. Didn't quite get there. Sorry, Richard McKee. Uh, but yes, didn't, didn't quite get there. Well, that was a good race uh, there, uh, Rick, for... Uh well, if you're dad anyway, I think drinks are on him tonight. <laughs> hey, well, which pub are you staying at? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. No, there'll be a few tonight, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, we've got, um, yeah, battle for 12th between uh, Robert Panetta and, um, oh, my apologies, uh, Ray Pig Nectaro uh, in the Alpha Sud. Uh, so they're, they're still going for it there. Um, Robert Panetta, Manning Motors of the Brookvale Mafia in... Uh, in uh, Manly, down in uh, oh, up in Sydney, um, so he's been racing for quite some time. Runs a, a classic shop. Um, his sons are here today as well. They've uh, been preparing his car, and I, as I understand it, potentially building a Twin Spark Cup car. So it looks like Ray may one more turn to go, but Ray may be a little bit too far behind to get him. 
um, but they'll still um, take it across the line. It's good to good to see everyone out there. Good to see the Suds out there. You used to see a lot of them racing. You don't see quite as many anymore. So very good to to bring them out. So thank you. All right, uh, Rick. Thanks very much for uh, coming up and giving us a hand over the weekend for the commentary with your uh, input into the Alfa Romeo racing and brought to us by Adelaide, the Motorsports uh, Festival. And uh, they're a museum in motion, they tell us, and they've got a good uh, website there that you can have a bit of a look at. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XRA. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's Home and Contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. <clears throat> we all agree now is the right time to start making choices to support Aussie businesses, supporting Aussie families and communities. Well, from their humble beginnings in Melbourne nearly 100 years ago, Penrite now yeah. sit as a truly respected global lubricants yeah. brand across automotive and industry. And the best bit, it's still 100% oh, right. owned by an Aussie family that employs yeah. Australians in Australian factories right here on nice Aussie Nice car, those Caprice.